get through these boxes. This one goes a little faster, so... And here's the tricker. I don't know where it is, but eventually we'll have to ride on these things. Like this. Oh! Oh, that was close. I'll show you later. Many boxes. Ooh, I see a puppy. Wow, it's really bright out here. Sure is. treasure. Well, let me see if there's any over here. Really? There's none here? I guess not. Well, let's go. Fluffy, let's talk to him. Try jumping on the flat box to get an elevator ride up to the next room. Sure Ooh. thing. Okay. So let's see these flat boxes. We have to get up on one. Here we go. Oh god, this is what I was talking about, guys. Ugh. There. It's a little I'm tricky. It's a little tricky, but it's possible. 
Yeah, always hate that that puppy was up here. I oh, guess there's no buried treasure here. Let's go. Oh, here comes my favorite room. This is the freakiest place I've ever seen, Fluffy. What on earth is it? We're inside Professor Farsboom's electromagnetic experiment chamber. Those cubes out there float on magnetic waves. Can we do anything with them? Yes. Each of these switches will cause a different set of magnets to turn on, arranging the cubes into a unique pattern. You can jump on the cubes after they've been rearranged, but you'll have to hurry. The magnets stay on for only a few seconds. <laughs> Okay, this is cool, guys. Watch. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Now watch this. <sighs> We're Keep underneath... Work. We're underneath the area. See if there's any buried bones down here. Okay, I guess not. Or I'll sniff. I'll sniff after we, uh... Okay. This isn't reaching high enough. I'll try over here. There we go! Okay, we've already done that one. Okay, we have to go over here this round. Thank you. Alright. The best part about this is that the edges will always turn the color, so... Wait a minute, where am I supposed to go? Oh, darn it all. Ah! Okay, where does the balloon go? Let's try that again. Ah, there we go. All the bones, so I'm gonna go down here. Sniff. Okay, I guess. Guess there's no place for us to go, really. Or, er, bah! Ugh. Okay, we pretty much can't find any bones there, so. <laughs> Note to myself start talking like a normal human being. Alright. Come on! This is gonna be a pain, I can already tell. There we go. Feel 
feels good to be out of there. That's number five, right? Okay, just one more puppy, guys. We're almost there. I guess there's no more down here. Okay, be patient with me, guys. Better than nothing. Yay, I did it! Okay, we're finally done with that area. So now we could go over here where we'll be lifted. Oh, gears. Remember the gears from Big Ben? Okay, puppy. You're almost at the end of the level, and Cruella is nearby. <laughs> Get ready, and good luck. Thanks for all the help, Fluffy. But I still need to save the puppy. I still have one more puppy to save. I hope I didn't miss one all the way back. Wait a minute, what did I just see? Aha! <laughs> There you are. my paws on Cruella, I'm gonna... Oh crap, I just saw bones there. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, just three more bones left. Oh, there they are. The rest of the bones are over there. Okay, forget about that flying thing. Let's go. High five, guys! Give me a virtual high five. We saved all the puppies. Now... The final battle against Cruella DeVille herself. <laughs> I can't believe it. That foul little scrapper has made it all the way here. To the heart of my toy factory. Boy, she sure likes to hear herself talk. You think? <laughs> but your canine karma has come to an end. My new super glue cannon will be your demise. Fast move, turn on the super glue pump. <laughs> here it goes, Cruella. That sounds like trouble. We better do what Fluffy said, and disable her computers as fast as possible. Alright, alright, alright. What's that? Oh, nice! Where is it?
always hit the shield button when I'm... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that's why I always have the shield on. Yeah, it uses more energy, but at least our attacks won't work. What is that foul canine up to? Wouldn't you like to know? It, matter. it is about to become a plush toy. Alright, this time we have to face this weird looking thing. Don't ask me what the heck that is. Basically, I have to shoot it like. Watch out for its things. The swirly purple spaghetti. Swirling purple spaghetti. That's an appropriate name. Stop that, you meddling whelp! Those computers are expensive! Oh, yeah. Like, I give a crap. Uh, uh oh. I have a bad feeling about this. You should! You're about to face something called irony. And number three! I won't let Mutt hold still! Cause I'm a... No! I'm a jerk. It's impossible! Not the super glue! Should've thought a little more before sitting on top of your own stuff. Really, Cruella? I thought you were smarter than that. Now watch, guys. One hundred! And now enjoy our final cutscenes. Help! Someone! Get me out of this gloop! Oh, save you, my darling! Let him have it, Domino! Whoa! Now that's a pretty sight. Yes, it is. You imbecile! You nincompoop! You grotesque, dangly dick! <laughs> Let's go find Mom and Dad. I love how the guy was just waving his arms around like spaghetti. Even though she's gone, I can still smell the scent of that Cruella woman. It's like Pepper. Achoo. That's an insult to Pepper, you Don't know. Don't worry, Dottie. All our puppies are safe. And the police will make sure that evil woman won't bother us again for a long, long time. Now let's go home. Until the next sequel where she somehow escapes. Well, mates, this might be an opportune time to make ourselves scarce. Well, I despise traditional prison apparel. I hear someone a coming. Let's hide. I wonder what ever happened to Corella and her henchmen. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Tell me again, you moron. How long will the gloop keep us like this? Uh, approximately 20 years, my sweet. Not quite as long as our prison sentences. No! <laughs> I love how they didn't even try to get that gloop off. Is it safe to come out? Boy, that sure was a long trip. Blue. Boy, I sure hopes one of you brought sunscreen. Irony. And that's it. 
Well, I would say that's it and say that's the game and display my final thoughts about it, but like I said, there's still some mini games we need to try out, so I'm actually gonna skip these credits for now and get right to the mini games. Alright, but before we do the mini games, we're gonna look at the stickers first. Look at it all. See the stickers? It reveals like a picture for each of the level. I'll leave it on for a few seconds for you guys to see. And of course, the beauty of it all. Ah, some good times, huh, guys? All right, now for the mini games. First, we'll start with mini golf. Yes, there's a golf game in this. But we're gonna listen to the instructions because the instructions are some of the best parts of these games. If you want to play this mini golf game, my most recent stroke of genius, I, Cruella Deville, warn you, this golf course is fiendish, cruel, and devious. A typical Deville masterpiece. The goal of mini golf is simplicity itself. Get the ball into the hole using as few strokes as possible. Where's the challenge, you say? <laughs> Be assured, I have designed each hole with insidious tricks and traps, which you must avoid to secure the best possible score. You begin each stroke by choosing the direction from which you strike the ball. Like so. When you have your desired angle, press the action button to begin the swing. Note the swing meter. As the meter rises, so does the strength of the stroke. The meter will rise and fall until you press the button a second time. The ball will then fly away. Hopefully toward the hole. Be careful how hard you strike the ball, because if it goes too quickly, it will fly right over the hole. Your final score depends on how many strokes you use for all nine holes. The lower your score, the better. The top score is saved along with your game. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Challenge accepted, Corella Deville. All right. Aha! Beautiful shot. There we go, only two holes. Okay, we'll do it really high here. Oh, darn it. There we go. Oh. Did I ever say I never was good at golf? Because I was never good at golf. Quite a few years since I played this mini game. Oh, come on! Yep. Thank God I'm playing on my own here. There we go! Took seven shots, but at least I did it. It's like playing Guess How Strong You Need to Do It. There we go. No, come on! Okay, don't, don't, don't you dare, don't you dare. That's right, go down, go down. I think this game hates me. Alright. There we go. At least that took less than the other. 